Hi, this is Deep Sky Blue for DIYAllDay.com. Uh, we're here today making our second video on our custom computer assembly. Uh, I have, again, here in front of me the, uh, the case that we've been working with. Uh, if you missed the last video, uh, we do have the motherboard and power supply installed into the case already. Uh, so at this point, we're just going to be moving on and installing uh, the optical drive and the hard drive. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to start with here will be the optical drive. Uh, if you take a look inside of the case, uh, this one here in particular, optical drives go into these larger bays here. These are 5 inch bays, and then the, there's also 3.5 inch bays which take uh, hard drives. There's some other drives that fit into these, but most commonly uh, what people are using is a hard drive or an optical drive. Um, in this particular case, uh, uh, the hard drives go in short ways, uh, which is a little bit different style. A lot of times they, they point the other way, and then it's got two floppy bays here. Uh, very few people use those anymore. Uh, really, I mean, they could be used for hard drives as well, uh, if you were needing to. So, uh, different cases, I mean, this isn't something that's super standardized, so I'll try to cover it just in... Uh, the most general terms here of, of how to, you know, access and, and remove some of these panels and stuff from the case. Uh, most of them, uh, the front part of the case is snap-on. And you can actually see uh, the little snaps on here. And if you see these on your case, then you know uh, that yours is a snap-on. So that's, uh, those are pretty easy to access and it's going to be much easier to take off your drive bay panels. Um, with the uh, with the front panel of the case taken off, so I'm just gonna remove this here now. It's uh, yeah, just a, a snap, so you don't want to put too much force on there. It, it should come off pretty easily. Um, if you're really forcing it, um, you know, definitely be sure that it is a snap-on front panel and, and that you're not breaking something. And trying to take it off. These cords here uh, connect to the, uh, eventually they'll be hooked up to uh, the motherboard for all of our front panel equipment here. So uh, these are the drive bay covers uh, right here. Uh, this is a mid tower case, so there's uh, uh, slots here for actually up to four different optical drives. And then if you look at, at the case here, it actually uh, uh, not all cases will have this, but the top two uh, just pieces of metal here are, are already removed for the top two. So um, I'm going to use one of those because that, that step is already done for me. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to go with the, uh, the second uh, drive slot here. I don't know. Uh, people do it different ways. I just way up at the top. I don't know. I, I tend to think it looks a little bit better in the second slot, but that's purely a matter of taste. Uh, these drive bay covers are, are snap-on as well. Um, I was working with this case before, and these are uh, were particularly tough to get off, but uh, just with some firm pressure, uh, you know, uh, just moving the plastic slot on there, you can get them off uh, with, the, with a little bit of effort there. So I'm just going to remove this one here. Just a moment here. There we are. So, not too bad at all. So, we'll go ahead and put the case cover here back on now. And uh, snaps on just as easy as it snapped off. Uh, lesson it took me a while to learn to save these. Save everything, save your extra screws. Um, you know, you could go from a setup where you're running two drives to running one, and if you don't have this stuff saved, you'll end up with holes in the front of your case. Uh, one of my computers actually looks like that. Um, actually, it's the, the case from the very first system I built, which I still have, but uh, that'll be cycled out here eventually as I continue to do the upgrades. Um, so, now that we have that removed, we'll, we'll go ahead and get the optical drive in here. 
This is just a uh, Sony OptiArc uh, DVD burner here. Uh, to install the drive, you just slide it in through the front. It uh, should go pretty easily. And uh, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, on these, uh, the screw mounts are actually adjustable. Uh, if you see here, to uh, there's two sets of them. One of them, you know, if for whatever reason it's not flush on your case, you can just use these top two to. So even if these screw holes don't line up, the the drive is flush. Uh, which usually aesthetically, I mean, four screws will hold these in. That's all I ever put into them. So let's see. Just gonna grab our trusty uh, screwdriver here, and uh, and we'll get the drive screwed in uh, on this side. Let's see here. I am uh, going to use these top ones here, just so it lines up. The screws are very close there, but. Um, I've, I've really got a flush on the front here, so uh, to me this is uh, the better way to do it, just on, on these adjustable ones. Got the second one in here. Now, on this particular case, there's varieties of setups for these. Some of them are screwless, which are really nice. This one's not. Um, this one, for the optical drives, it, I actually have to put screws in both sides for it. Uh, for the hard drives, it only requires screws on one. Uh, you can see they have these little uh, just ridged humps here, or uh, whatever you want to call them, to apply pressure against it, so it, it really fits in there snugly. So if you have these, uh, it's only necessary to put them on on one side, uh, so there's a lot of different varieties. Uh, this part of you know the the cases they're they're very different from model to model. So to get these other two in, I'm I'm going to remove the other side of the case here. These are just thumb screws, real convenient. A lot of the uh, uh, mid to to high end cases, um, you'll you'll find these a lot. Uh, screwless is better uh, for the most part. It, it makes it very convenient if you're ever working on your system. And we'll just get this uh, panel pulled off here. There we go. Set that over there for now. And uh, yep, that's the reverse side of the motherboard tray that we installed yesterday. I'll get a, a couple more screws in here. These are going to be the uh, the smaller screws that came with your case. Uh, the ones before, uh, they have kind of a bolt head on them. These are uh, <coughs> they're they're rounded. They have a, a little ring around them uh, to kind of uh, that's their four drives. So it, it kind of gives it a wider space. Although it's quite a small screw to to kind of push against the aluminum and and hold these drives in. quite easy here just uh, same same as last video just screws make sure that's tight in there um, if it requires both sides uh, for the screws put in both sides uh, jitter can be a problem on these drives I mean when they're spinning uh, they can generate vibration uh, that can cause bad burns can cause your drive to go bad sooner so if, if your uh, drive takes screws on on both sides definitely install them in, in both sides so we're uh, we're all done with this side of the case I'm gonna close this up again here okay there we are get my thumb screws back in here
here we are. Just get them in here flush. This one's not wanting to cooperate. Coming back around here, uh, we're going to get the hard drive installed. Have a Hitachi uh, two gig hard drive here. Uh, this is if if you do happen to be using a magnetic screwdriver, which I don't recommend. Uh, hard drive is definitely one component that's magnetically sensitive. Uh, they do shield these. I mean, you you certainly wouldn't want to you know set a set of computer speakers on top of them by any means because they they are magnetically sensitive uh, I'm just gonna put it in the second bay here uh, actually I think I'll do the first these uh these can get a little warm as they're running uh, this case has a, a spot for a fan specifically for the hard drives um, for the most part I mean if you have enough ventilation in your case it's not something that's super necessary uh, but some people do like to run them on their uh, on their drives just to keep them cool. Uh, one little trick there, uh, if you're running a multiple drive setup, which I actually will be when I get this completely installed, uh, if you've got extra spaces, uh, put a space in, in between them. Put a couple spaces in between them so then that way they're uh, not heating each other up. What I'm doing here, I'm, I'm just removing uh, or moving out of the way just the jumpers here that, that hook up the front components on the case. Uh, when I was testing this out here before, this needs to just get pushed all the way to the back for the screws to line up. So this one is uh, two screws only. steps in the way here. There we go. Because as I had mentioned before, that's uh, the other side of this has got those uh, raised pieces that, that press against it and hold it in tight. So uh, six screws in this part of the assembly. Okay, and there we are. So uh, that's, uh, that's basically everything uh, that we're looking to cover here today. We installed the optical drive and then the hard drive. Uh, so we're, we're moving right along here. Up next, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the processor here. So this is, uh, once again, Deep Sky Blue from DIYAllDay.com. Come check out the full tutorial. Thank you.